Happy Sunday, nerds. Here's what we're gonna do. It's project time. I have been letting my bookshelves pile up and also I'm ready for a change. So what we're gonna do is I have bought some little boxes and I'm gonna try and do tiered shelving to make more room, but also to make it look better and different because I need different right now. I don't know. People who regularly organize your bookshelves, you'll, you'll understand. Uh, I don't do it like super regularly. It's a lot of work when you have so many books, but it's time because things are bad. So, hey, Pippin. Okay, let me show you what he's playing with. Hey, you been chewing those boxes? Okay, don't do that. Don't, don't do that. So these are boxes. They're going to fold up hopefully the right size. I hope I didn't buy them too big. They're three inches tall, three inches wide, 14 inches long. I guess we'll see. But let me show you, let me show you what we're working with here in this situation. This is my fantasy bookshelf. It is stuffed full. Here's my overflow. I'm just, I've just been piling stuff. Uh, I want to move stuff around here. I think I'm going to move all of my paperbacks over there. And I'm going to move all my hardcovers, except for Robin Hobb. She needs to stay over here because she's Robin Hobb. So, and then the situation over here is just that I have no more room and I need to see like sci-fi is overflowing, mystery is overflowing, horror is a problem. Uh, just the whole thing is a problem. So I just, it's time. Romance is a problem. Look at all that extra romance shit. And then, uh, Pippin, stop. You're going to make yourself sick. You're going to make yourself sick. Come on. Okay. So here's the problem over here. <laughs> this is also full. I've already started double stacking. See where my brain's at? These fell over like three weeks ago and I just said, fuck it. Um, I don't want to fix that. So I need to fix it. And then uh, all my middle grades, I need to stack those up. Because nobody looks down there. So I feel like I just need to tighten things up and maybe make some more room for adults to spill over down here. So I don't know. It's going to be a project. We'll see how it goes. Pippin likes to watch TV. Can't listen to an audiobook right now, by the way, because I need to have this free for filming. So we're going to watch the X-Files. Huh, Pippin. Okay, let's learn how to fold these. Instructions, but look, I did it. It only took me five minutes to figure out how to fold a box up. I, this is exactly the right size. This is exactly what I wanted. So let's see if this works. I'm sitting here on the couch. I'm very tired. Got Lily here. Whoops. Yep, got her. Watching X-Files Monday from season six. Very great episode. Let's look at what I have done so far. So I think I'm okay with what this is going, what's going on here. So I, it's sort of alphabetized, but mostly not because I wanted to feature Robin Hobb and Sanderson. And then the rest of it, I just was like prioritizing aesthetics over alphabetizing so but I mean they're roughly alphabetized like starts with A and then B and then a Z because <laughs> I stuck it in there and then these are all S's but then like the Raven Raven boys and they don't they don't fit so I don't know and then I'm doing the semi stacking thing to go for like the asymmetrical look because I the symmetry was bothering me I just wanted to just sort of look purposefully messy and then I've got B's black Bardugo, and then I stuck some random Martha Wells and Averitt on top, and then I've got my Shannon Chakraborty shelf, I've got Piranesi right there. Is it Piranesi or Piranesi? I like Piranesi better, but whatever. Luckily, all of these look pretty together. There's C's. Oh, wait, but then Simon Jimenez, I just stuck him in there because I like the way it looks next to Juno Dawson. <laughs> Let's see. It's, it's, um, it doesn't make any sense. And then I've got F's, H's, and some G's here. Not in any particular order. And then I've got, I, I, re, I, put, I moved these books back over from my other side shelf to the prominent place. I don't know. So this, the thing about this, the, the bottom stacking, is that it leaves me room for like this series to grow. Like I need to put book two in there and I can do that. And there's room up top here for it to, for it to expand to like, I think it's going to be a three book series. I don't know what I'm going to do when I finish books two and three on that series. Uh, we'll come to that later. And then uh, I've got my TJ Clunes, and I've got Babel, Will of Many, 
Lev Grossman, N.K. Jemison. I got my George Martins, my Freya Marskis, Naomi Novik. She's she's propping up some books that I think look kind of pretty together. I don't. Um, I couldn't make my third copy of that series, like the Shelley Parker Chan fit. <laughs> so oops. And then um, Lainey Taylor and Adrian Tchaikovsky. We're, we're, we're working here, we're doing stuff. And then you'll see the mess over there, so I have to put all my pa my fantasy paperbacks on that shelf. And then Rothfuss is over there, so yeah, he's I couldn't make him fit, and that's fine, because I'm mad at him, so. Uh, this is my next challenge, but I'm gonna sit here and finish Monday first, because this episode rules. Okay, bye. Okay, I have now finished this. I'm not completely happy with it. A lot of these are first books in a series, and I just mm, kind of shoved everything in here. <laughs> I'll probably have to fix it later, because several of these series I'm going to be continuing this year, including Carissa Broadbent so, and the Vila Roth Blood Mercy series. So... This is fine for now. I just got all the paperbacks and I put them over here. So, and my Terry Pratchett's are still here. That's fine. I didn't touch this. I could do that later and maybe squish them later, but I'm just too tired because I still got that to do. <laughs> so that's gonna be where these come in. So we'll see how it goes. I got, I got way too many. So, you know, okay, I got, I'm, I'm going to go. All right, I, I took a break, and they were cuddling with me, but now they're cuddling separately, which that's not a thing, but, I mean, they're in the same space, which is pretty rare. Right, Pippin? Hey. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. It's bath time. Okay, now, now I'm going to do this. Now I'm going to do this. <laughs> they fit. Now I have to put these up somehow. I'll figure it out. This is like episode 10 that I've watched today. I finished. I finally finished. This is The Unnatural, by the way, from season six. David Duchovny wrote and directed this episode. And it ends with a scene of Mulder and Scully playing baseball together, spooned up. And it's adorable. And also there's singing and aliens and it's very goofy. But let's talk about my bookshelves because I'm done. Okay, so don't mind my hair. It's It's too much <laughs> I've been sweating and running around I don't I don't know if I'm happy with what I've just done I I don't know aesthetically if I'm happy with it in terms of me being able to fit more books onto my shelves I am happy it seems to have worked it's gonna be a royal pain in the butt to get books off of my shelves now I'm gonna knock everything over every time I try but it's fine so Let's do a quick little bookshelf tour. Now, I, you'll notice I left the bookshelves in my room alone just because they're perfectly fine. The chances that I will add nonfiction or fiction books into that situation are pretty slim, but I am, however, adding mystery, horror, and thriller, and fantasy constantly. Well, not thrillers, but mystery, <laughs> horror, and fantasy. I read a lot. Now, okay, um, my arm was hurting. I look at my baby. So let's let's go. Okay, so I showed you earlier this, but I've made a few adjustments. So we've got A's, Robin Hobb, Abercrombie, the ones that I've decided to keep. I, you'll see that I've got Half a King there, and there were two other books in that series, but they don't exist anymore for me. So they're just there, and then The Heroes is my favorite standalone, and I've got the paperbacks over there for the First Law Trilogy. Okay, and then I've got my Robert Jackson Bennett's, and then I've got Aaron Morgenstern. I still don't, I probably won't leave Iron Widow there. I'll, I'll probably put it somewhere else. I don't know. I'm still moving stuff around. And then I've got my S shelf. So I've got my Samantha Shannons, Richard Swan, Victoria Schwab, and then these books that don't fit but look aesthetically pleasing to me. And then I've got Sanderson. Don't mind that. It's a, it's a book dust jacket that I need to find its home. And then uh, this one I'm not super pumped with, especially since it's going to change soon because I'm about to read more books in the series. This is my Lee Bardugo and then Holly Black. And then I had other Holly Blacks here before, 
but I haven't read them yet, so they shouldn't be out here. So I swapped in these. I don't really like where those are, but there's nowhere else to put them. So, and then I've got my Shannon Chakravorty's. Got some smaller books down there, propping them up. This one, I'm about to read the second book, so I don't know what's going to happen once I do that. And this one has a book coming this summer as well. Don't know what's going to happen. I don't know when the sequel of that one's coming out. We'll see. Uh, by the way, I'm going to post my Waterstones edition of that book to my Pango. If some of you watching my, my book on haul were wanting it, um, it's, it's very pretty. And I didn't like the book enough to keep both. So I'm just going to get the, the fairy loot. Is it fairy loot? Or Luma Crate. I think it's fairy loot going forward. And then I've got some G's and F's. This one I've got fairy loot coming. So I'm going to sell this one, I think. Although, I don't know. I might keep it for a little bit because the fairy loot one is the same color as this. And, like, what if it's not... Like, I don't know. I'm really worried about the color matching. It's just stupid. This one, I'm reading the sequel very soon. Finally, it's coming out. And this one, I'm reading the sequel too. So I don't know what's going to happen there. And then I've got... This shelf is all right. I did make some adjustments. Uh, I put my Ruin of Kings... Those books, I wish I had the floppier, smaller ones, but... I have two of those signed, so I can't get rid of them. As you'll see, the Deborah Harkness books have, have made once again made it through a <laughs> unhaul, because I am unhauling four books. And then I've got Babel and The Well of Many, two of my favorite books. And then I've got some Sprayed Edges, which is a second copy of a book that I have. That's the Waterstones edition, and TJ Klune got mad at Waterstones for some reason. I forget why. I think to do with them not treating their customers well or something I don't, and he refused to go forward and so now I'm, I'm collecting the Barnes and Noble special editions of that series and then I've got my magicians here I did have those three books underneath there but I decided I hated it because the yellow was too much moving on to a shelf that I really like oops there's my finger I, I'm gonna move that art history thing don't mind the cat toys uh I really like the way the George Martin books look next to the Naomi Novik and then that is my favorite part. I don't know why. And then all my Lainey Taylors and Adrian Tchaikovsky and Rebecca Yaros and Helene Wecker. <laughs> okay, let's look at my other shelves. This, you'll see what I mean about aesthetics and not knowing if it's going to be good or not. Share with the rest of the class. It's not ice cream. It's a non fat to fully rice dream single. Ugh, that the air in my mouth tastes better than that. You sure know how to live it up, Scully. Oh, you're Mr. Live It Up. Molly, you're really Mr. Squeeze every last drop out of this sweet life, aren't you? And on this precious Saturday, you've got us grabbing life by the testes, stealing reference books from the FBI library in order to go through New Mexico newspaper obituaries for the years 1940 to 1949. And for what joyful purpose? Looking for anomalies, Scully. Do you know how many so-called flying disc reports there were in New Mexico in the 1940s? I don't care. Hold it, this is a needle in a haystack. These poor souls have been dead for 50 years. Let them rest in peace. Let sleeping dogs lie. Well, I won't sit idly by as you hurl cliches at me. Preparation is the father of inspiration. Necessity is a mother of invention. The road of excess leads to the palace of wisdom. Eat, drink, and be merry, for tomorrow we may die. I scream, you scream, we all scream for non fat till foodie rice No! Yeah. <laughs> I'm reading the box score, Scully. Love that whole scene. I realized that I can't tape the whole thing because that's probably illegal, but we'll see how much I can get away with. Here's my bookshelves on the other side. Okay, here's what we've got. Oh, don't mind my duster. Oops, I almost dropped the phone. So this is what it looks like from far away. It looks pretty good. I mean, it's, I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted by the X-Files again. Scully and Mulder are adorable. adorable. So, so yeah, this is what it looks like. I reorganized a lot of stuff. I'm not quite happy with it. I'm not, I don't know. We'll see. Let's go section by section. So here's romance. This is what I ended up doing. I ended up actually moving all my romance, the TARDIS is over there now, into these two shelves. I'm not sure how I feel about the double stacking. It makes it so that it sticks out. You'll see, you can see that. And also if I want books in the back, it's gonna be real hard, but there is room to grow. They've got room there. I can always move that as well and start that up as a romance shelf again. I don't know where I'd move it because sci-fi is pretty full, but I, I'd probably figure something out. So yeah, I've, I've got my hardcovers up there and then this is really annoying me. 
these, these don't match. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might I might move Forget Me Not back there once I have more books to fill it up. I, I don't know. I don't I don't know what's going on. Actually, I hate it. So I'm gonna move it. Uh, but I'm not gonna do that right now. And then I've got my mass markets in the back on the second shelf. And then all my trades that I've read. There's more over there. Uh, yeah, so these are the keepers. And then let's move on to mystery thr mystery thriller. So I kept this shelf exactly the same. Oh, I need to put my tchotchkes back. Uh, I don't know where I'm going to put those. Those don't go on that shelf. They go in sci-fi. And then I've got this shelf. I moved some stuff around here. Friendly Donovan didn't used to be there. But that's pretty much the only change. And then I got my my bookmarks now there because they, they no longer fit on that shelf <laughs> for obvious reasons. And then I've got uh, my Lindsay Faze. I've got some S.A. Cosby. I've got some other stuff. Actually, a couple of these I haven't read, so I should really move them, but I don't want to. Then I've got my Richard Osman books, Jesse Q. Satanto, and Santana French. And then I've got a bunch of Book of the Month mystery thrillers right here that I've decided to keep. Let's go down to the next one. This one is the crazy one. Oh God, this one, I don't know how I feel about it. Okay, so the back we've got the blue spillover for, I actually <laughs> had to shove those in there because I forgot about them, they were on the table. And then I've got mystery series in the back. I've got the first Veronica Speedwell. I've got Tana French Dublin Murder. I've got Lady Sherlock. The first book in the new Alice and Goodman series. I got the Jane Austen fanfic, Veronica Mars, and whatever that series is called where the author invented a, a genius lady and who married Sherlock Holmes in his middle age. And it's a weird series, but I like it. And I just, they're really pretty books, even though I have <laughs> decided to stop reading the series. So whatever. And then I've got my non-hardcover Sherlock Holmes collection. I've got my paperback Janice Hallett's. And then the rest of these are mystery thrillers in rainbow color because I'm a basic bitch and it makes me happy to look at. And I don't, I, I, my mood, I have synesthesia. So my mood is literally tied to the colors in any given space. So this literally makes me happy inside of my brain with chemicals. And then that bothers me because this is all horror, but you know, what are we gonna do? My special editions of Good Girl's Guide to Murder, which I'm rereading this summer so I can read those fancy new editions. Okay, then we got horror. Oh, I forgot. Mystery thriller. And then I've got some room to expand up here and there's room for them to go in the back too. So I didn't end up being able, I miss, I miscalculated this so I couldn't put any double stacks in these because they're too small unless I had like some sort of a saw to cut off a couple inches of the boxes. They were too big. Anyway, okay, so then we've got some horror. This is kind of a horror spillover. Like I was trying to fit everything in, so I just moved it around till it made it look okay in my brain. And then I've got hardcover horror over here. Don't make fun of me for liking Hyde, okay? I just, I like it. So I know everybody else hated it. You can all just ignore it, please. I've got my Katrina Ward. Where's little Eve? I should have little Eve right there. Is there room for it? Yes, there is. Okay. And then I've got my Grady Hendrix and my Rachel Harrison. And then I've got littler horror, including all of my Stephen Graham Jones hardcovers. The paperbacks are over here that I have. Mongrels, great book. And then I've got a Chuck Tingle and T. Kingfisher. She's up. She's just randomly all over the place. I don't know. I, I didn't. I couldn't find a way to <laughs> make all the T. Kingfisher, Kingfishers go together, especially since she's a genre hopper. Okay, now let's look at what I've done with my Stephen King shelf. I'm really not happy with this one because I can't really see all those delicious <laughs> mar mass market paperbacks that I love so much, but it does put my Dark Tower front and center. Gunslinger is out because I'm rereading it in May and it's in my TBR stack. And then, oh my God, by the way, guys, I want all of these editions that they have in England. I'm going to order them all from Blackwell's for the ones that books that I don't have yet because they're so cool. Especially since there's a lot of US covers like for Carrie that I just cannot find one that I like and they have good ones. And then I've got my first editions. This one is so beat up. Well, not that one. This one is so beat up. Like why do I even have it? But it's a first edition. So the rest of them are in plastic and this one's like 
just chilling out here naked. That one, I, I don't know what, what's going on with this deck. I just, I, I, I had enough. That, like if I move it the other way, there's, you see the white box underneath. And then this way you can at least see the, the other books back there. I don't know. I need another shelf for Stephen King is what I need, but I don't have one. So this is what we're dealing with. I left my graphic novels alone. So we're going to ignore that. <laughs> And then Stephen King spillover for all the new books. And then this random thing here, which I don't know what to do with. It is a fake book. I've never known know what to do with it. So whatever. Okay. So let's go to sci-fi. Okay. So there's, oh, I've got Red Rising in its own little cubby because those are very special editions with the TARDIS. And I just felt like that was appropriate. And then I've got some sci-fi special editions with the space showing. And I thought that was pretty... And then just some random series and sci-fi books that I love, including my Andy Weirs and this uh, Brazilian series that I never finished. There's one more book. I should finish it. That Charlie Jane Anders book was all right, but it's signed and she's awesome. So I keep it. And then I have my fourth book somewhere in that series, the uh, Ada Palmer series, which is amazing, by the way. If you guys have not read that, it is amazing. It's very smart. You have to be in the right mood for smartness, but yeah, anyway. And then I have my Anne Leckie shelf. You'll see that I have two copies of all the ancillary justice books, the Imperial Ratch. <laughs> Oops. And then I've got translation set up there. I'll have to figure out if maybe move something around. And then just some random books and my Kurt Vonnegut, or Katie Martin, and Skyward, which my Defiant is somewhere else, so I need to find that. And then that would be complete. And then we've got <laughs> basically what is my love, <laughs> the Expanse shelf. So, spoiler, but I did end up using two of my 10 cheats to purchase these special editions to match the 10th anniversary edition of Leviathan Wakes that I already have and they're really cool. They have the original covers reversed on the inside, but I like these covers better. They're very cool. There's my enterprise. And then there's my original books. You'll notice that book six is missing and that's Persepolis Rising. I don't know where it went. And then I've got Blake Crouch and my plant, which is dying. Sorry, Jesse Jr. And I've got Murderbot and Gideon. I don't know why they're in the corner hiding behind the plant. That's just how it worked out. Okay. Now we've got the only one that I've got double stacked here, which is smaller hardcovers and paperbacks, including my John Scalzi collection. And then I've got like mass market paperbacks back here. Lois McMaster Bujold, which is the series I've started. I've got all my Clifford DC Max. I love him. Oops, Connie Willis. I haven't read this. This should not be up here. Whatever, it's too much. Those are my dunes. Haven't made it past book four. The giant worm defeated me. And then I've got Orson Scott Card, which I, I love these books. Ender's Game and Speaker for the Dead. And I have not been able to read them since I realized that he was a huge dickhead like almost 15, 20 years ago. <laughs> and they just sit here, but I, I love them and I have fond memories. And then I have in, uh, Dan what is this? this is stupid series? Hyperion. The Hyperion Cantos. And then some Star Wars books. Okay, so that's that. And then I pretty much, I moved my plant, my other plant here. The world's saddest aloe vera plant. And then some of my mass, I need to go into my closet and fill this up because it's it needs to be filled up. Then I got my Witcher books. And I left those shelves alone. And that's it. So we've got... We've, we've got a new shelf that fits more books, <laughs> so we'll see how long that lasts. And that is my bookshelf. I love this episode. It's called The Unnatural, by the way, still in season six. He just chewed tobacco. Okay, we're done. Oh my God, my hair. I'm going to take this out while I wrap up this this video that's very strange so i'm very hungry i'm very tired i'm now only now realizing that this project has kicked my ocd into overdrive oops the way that doing puzzles used to 
and when that happens I don't stop until I'm done <laughs> even though I'm hungry or tired or whatever and I'm freaking starving right now so I'm gonna go eat and yeah I hope this was somewhat enjoyable I'm sorry I didn't get any footage of me organizing but I knew that it would just be boring because I just stare at the shelves for like whatever and then i and me bending over and i just i didn't want to okay so you got to see the before and the after <laughs> oh boy i don't know how this video is going to turn out sorry oh one more thing i am unhauling these so while i was trying to find space for certain books i did end up thinking to myself hey you're never gonna read this again it wasn't that great the first time short stories aren't your thing this was fine, but I'll never read it again. Same and same. So these are already on my Pango. If you want to go, I will link it below. Okay, now for real, I'm, I'm signing off. Thank you for watching. I hope you're all having a good weekend. If it's still the weekend where you are, maybe you're watching during the week, who cares? If you liked the video and you'd like to see more from me, please get, leave me a like and subscribe if you wanna. And if you made it this far in the video, please leave me a rainbow for basic bitch rainbow bookshelves and i'll see you guys in the next one okay love you bye